Our next inductee has had nothing handed to him in boxing, earned all of his success through perseverance, dedication, and hard work. Now he stands as one of the fastest rising promoters in our sport. He was born in Miami, and if things had turned out a little bit different, we may never have seen him in boxing. You see, he was a star high school basketball player. Upon graduation, he had 13 different college scholarship offers. But he was also part of a large family, and the family needed help at that point. So instead of going to college, he went right to work for FPNL to help the family. In 2000, he was invited by a friend of his to join in co-managing light heavyweight champion Lou DelVal. He later managed a number of fighters, guiding them to success, only to see them bolt somewhere else. Well, in 2005, he was invited by Julio Martinez to form a promotional company in South Florida, and Top Level Boxing was born. Over the next three years, Top Level put on some 20 shows in South Florida. After that, he was invited to become director of boxing for the heavyweight factory and started putting together shows at the Hard Rock Live at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood. All of those shows were televised either on ESPN, internet, or pay-per-view. He would then form his own company, Dream Team Promotions, guided the careers of successful fighters like Yoandri Salinas and Richard Abril. But then he was made an offer he couldn't refuse. He was approached by communications giant Gary Jonas to be the boxing director of Aquinity Sports. Over the last few years, Aquinity has grown to one of the top boxing stables in the world. World champions, Joan Guzman and Arginas Mendez. Unbeaten top contenders like Juan Carlos Payano and Claudio Marrero. Many, many more. He's accomplished a lot already, and I think he's just getting started. On a personal note, I've had the pleasure of serving as his ring announcer for every show he has promoted in the state of Florida. It's called loyalty, something our sport can sure use a lot of. A few years ago at a weigh-in, some pictures were being taken. I very jokingly asked him if he wanted to borrow my Hall of Fame ring to pose with. He answered back and said, dude, you give me that ring, you ain't getting it back. But then he said to me, you know what? He said, I'm going to keep working hard, so hopefully I can one day earn one of those rings for myself. Well, my friend, that day has come. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame Class of 2013, boxing promoter Henry Rivalta. for the kind words from Bob, you know, and excuse me if I get a little bit emotional. Boxing's been a, a tough uh, business for me, but it's been uh, rewarding. It's my life. It's how I feed my family, and it's what I get up every day and go to work to do to make sure that that we got some good future champions, you know, bring back some real boxing. But I'd like to just thank God uh, for this opportunity. I thought it came uh, fairly early in my career. Um, but I'm grateful for it. Like uh, Jerry said yesterday, sometimes opportunities come, and you got to take advantage of them and, and make the best of them. So that's what, that's what I'm going to try to do is, is uh, take advantage of them and make the best of them. And, uh, you know, I've, I've had a lot of great teachers, a lot of great individuals that I've been surrounded with uh, in boxing. I want to thank uh, Aquinity Sports, uh, my partner Gary Jonas, uh, my brother-in-law Herman Caicedo, my dear friends uh, Mike Tyson, Shannon Briggs, Mickey Ward. I want to thank uh, Butch and Kathy uh, from the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame. 
Bob Alexander, my dear friend Sammy Cohen and his lovely wife, uh, great people. I want to thank uh, Harold Letterman because he's a, truly a, one of the best people I know in boxing. I want to thank uh, Julio Martinez, who I started with um, before I was managing fighters, before I decided to become a promoter. And uh, guys like Pete Fernandez, Ricardo Rizzo. I want to thank uh, Benjamin Leon from Leon Medical Centers, who showed me a lot of support financially when I was doing my shows. I want to thank uh, all my fighters, because without a fighter, you can't be a promoter. You can act like a promoter, but if your guys don't get in there and lay it all on the line and win and go out there and perform, and how good can you really be? So I want to thank my guys for all the hard work they do and, and that they put in. I want to thank uh, Joe Rodriguez, my wonderful wife, and my five little girls. I want to thank uh, Chris Lawrence in the Heavyweight Factory. I want to thank uh, the Seminole Tribe, Johnny Boss. who was my matchmaker uh, since 2006. And uh, Johnny was a good man, you know, I'm glad he, he taught me a lot. I, I stayed up countless hours. Late night, my wife would wonder if I was speaking to other women. She said, who are you talking to at three o'clock in the morning? And uh, it was Johnny Boz, you know, giving me a, a good lecture on the other side of that phone, teaching me a lot of good stuff about boxing, you know, so I'm gonna miss Johnny. I wanna thank uh, Don King, uh, my dear friend Roberto Casada and Michael Pernick who are up here today and it's a real privilege for me to be inducted with all these great names and all this rich boxing that, that I'm associated with here. I want to thank uh, Dr. Alan Fields who's been there uh, since I first started in 2005 promoting shows and uh, Tommy Malloy who was real tough on me but I thank him for being that tough now and uh, you know there's a lot of guys that deserve to be here uh, more than I do. Guys like uh, Tuto Zabala Jr., Julio Martinez, uh, Walter Alvarez, Louis de Cubas. So I, I look forward to, to seeing them in the, in, the, in the very near future. And I uh, just want everybody to know that I, I wear this ring with pride. Thank you guys very much.